Hello, Virgo. This is an X reading for the 17th through the 23rd. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what kind of relationship you guys had in the past. Hmm. Ooh, one that was very kind of confusing for you. Huh. I feel like that a lot of you, um, wow. It was one that was confusing, but it was also a relationship that had a lot of potential is what I'm feeling. A lot of potential here. A lot of potential for growth. As you have all of the aces right here. All of the aces are also here. Okay. All of the aces are also here, but in the form of like the cups. You have the greenery here, the pinnacles. You have the fire here, the wands. You have the water here for the emotions, where the cups themselves are emotions. But you also have like, you know, the ideas, the growth, like everything is here. The potential was there for this to be something spectacular, okay? I had the potential for a great relationship and look. And it all came crumbling down. It all came crumbling down. That just flew out of the air. What happened here? Let's see how you guys actually viewed your relationship. Hmm. <laughs> I think you guys were very attracted to um, your partner. I think they were very fiery. I think they brought a lot of, um, you know, the personality that you liked. You were very attracted to this person. Um, I think there were always new things that you guys were doing, going to see, exploring. I mean, it, it was it was something good. It was definitely something good. Let's see how they viewed the relationship. Hmm. I think your person was quite confused. And I think they felt like they wanted everything with you. But they also felt like you had a lot of options or you or you had your hands on different things. You were very attracted to this person. Fire sign energy here. And maybe you have fire in your chart. Maybe they were older than you. Does not have to be. But you know, maybe they had a lot more like life experience, even. Hmm. You guys are coming with the same kind of energy. Let's see what your current situation is. I think you still want this person for sure. But I feel like... I feel like it's a struggle for you to go back. It's a struggle for you to approach this person. I feel like you definitely want to. Definitely want to. There's something that's kind of like worrying you though. It's, it's like bogging you down. Let's see what their current situation is. I think they're trying to, um, you know, they probably have a family. They maybe have children, um, you know, people that they care for, that they're responsible for, things that they're responsible for. Um, I think this person is definitely looking for commitment at this point. Um, yeah. I think they're looking for a relationship. I think this is probably a relationship person for sure. Now, what they may be doing is looking for you. Hmm. Thinking about you, thinking about what you're doing, thinking that you're with someone else, that you are providing the same support that you once provided for them even. Okay. Let's see how you perceive your ex. It's very loving, very um, giving, very supportive, very intuitive. Um, you feel like, you know, they are somebody that is always there to comfort or to uplift people. 
okay? And let's see how your ex views you. What is their perception of you? Oh, hmm. They feel like you left them. They feel like you weren't there for them, that, um, that you had no intention of being there for them through thick and thin, even. Or they feel that um, they left you feeling like, you know, they put you out or that they weren't there for you because the energy can go vice versa. But um, they, they see you as hurt. They definitely see you as somebody that's like, you know, you're hurt and you're still thinking about it. Okay, let's see what they can do to help this situation. Take a leap of faith here. Take a leap of faith. Mm -hmm. Be the person that you know them to be. Could be a Cancer, could be um, an Aries, could be any sign really. But um, with this fire being here, I feel like this is a fire energy that you know maybe has some water, earth maybe in their chart. Um, yeah, let's see what you guys can do. I think you need to offer something. I think you probably do need to let them know that, you know, you will be there to write this thing out because you guys have the potential here, as we saw initially, to have something great, okay? And I think if you did offer or they did offer, um something to you guys i think this could i think this could definitely work out um because this looks this looks beautiful this looks beautiful actually something happened here that you know there was something going on that i feel like could have been worked out but you guys could not have worked it out together. You kind of needed to go to your separate corners and heal and do your work separately is what I'm getting here, okay? Let's see what the potential outcome is here. Wow. Wow. Two twos. I think that the potential outcome is that this is somebody juggling, okay? This is somebody being unsure. So this, your ex is still in this stage where they're not sure whether it's a good idea to make this offer to you. But they're looking right at it. And I think that, you know, this ace with this two of pentacles is a three of pentacles. I think you guys will get to a point where you can work together. It may take a little bit longer, um, but I definitely think that this is something that has some strong potential here to develop again. Okay. This two of cups being there because there's a strong love here. Um, this is a strong relationship potentially if you guys can work things out. 